Brett, give it to me. Yes! yes! Welcome, Welcome back, back to Woody and Friends. Um, a new voice, quite a nasally voice, yeah. um, heading us you off today. Us. <laughs> we'll get there in a second, but I've got to do a quick sting because this episode of Footy and Friends is brought to you by our friends at Amy. Lucky you're with Amy. Dylan's well, away, Brett. I know. What's he doing? Selling himself. Actually, I've got a couple of stories about this. Well, I'll throw straight to you for a story. Actually, I won't because we're going to do the Amy sting. We're going to get the Amy um, credit out of the way because... We've got a great guest in today, Brett. It's just not me and you. One, one Our eyes favorites. are across, yeah. gla- again, gazing in. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great view here. We've got Robin these... Nahas back. Oh, Nahas is welcome. Thank you. Thank good, you. Good to be back. Yeah, very good. Um, by popular demand, Brett said. So, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. We left been. a question on the table last time that Dill wanted to ask, but um, we we'll, we'll might get to it later. <laughs> But, uh, he, he couldn't believe we didn't ask him about it. Okay, so I'll leave that uh, one yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not on the run sheet, which no, not. I've spent it's, hours it's, poring over. It's probably just a photo of an eggplant, but uh, we'll, we'll go through it later. We'll, we'll find it. But we will We will yeah, throw yeah, the... Yeah. Um, what are we going to call What do we call you? Rob Nahas? Robbie? Yeah, Robin. 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 <laughs> Robin. Robin's Nahas. What do we go well, with they used to, I, I used to get called Uzi. Well, let's go with Uzi. Yeah. Don't have Uzi, Uzi in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, yeah, there was his boxer, yeah, yeah, that, Pakistani was, boxer. all floppy and that, that uh, looked exactly like him. It's <laughs> racist or really Ka- racist? Kazakhstan or okay. Pakistan. Where was he from? He's Pakistan. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> he looked just like Robin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Uzi's in and Uzi's here. Yeah. And hey, the heroics of Michael Voss last week. Yeah. Um, chased down a, a few would be thieves. Yep. And I was led to believe that this was not the only time this mm. has happened. Just not recorded. Citizens' arrest. It was in the paper. Yeah, it was in the paper, but it wasn't like that we, oh, are, we haven't got the guy. accessibility like we have today, but yeah. someone else has done it. So, talk us through it. Oh, What's yeah. actually going so, on? So, um, I was with the missus, or the ex-missus at the time, we were on Chapel Street, and uh, one of her friends had a bag on the table beside, uh, behind us. Mm. It's some junkie on a bike, push bike, rides past, snatches a bag up, <laughs> and I just chase him So mm. on foot. So You were I, quick, though. Yeah, was, yeah, real quick. So, I caught, I caught up with him. <laughs> I got lucky. He actually turned down the street where my car was. Mm. So then I jumped in the car. Oh. And then I've gone down there and I've uh, I've cornered him in a side street and he's come back out and yeah. a couple of kicks to the head. And you didn't <laughs> you didn't have your uh, oversized Gucci shoes on that day? No, nah, no, I had Rob, my runners on. Robin, Robin it was after shoes. our training. We actually had a training session that day, me and you, Brett. He so bought shoes that were too big for him because he lie. thought they looked silly. He's not too small because he's got little feet. Absolute lie. So he bought them the six so he's two lying. sizes too big. <laughs> he's lying. He just so lies. when you got into the corner street, this is what I'm intrigued about. It was one on one. Yeah, but listen. Like British Bulldogs. Yeah, I was very. He was on a bike, so it was easy to push him off. And then I just pinned him to the ground, and then everyone caught up by that. Oh, the cavalry. Did you, did you just say kick to the head just a minute ago? We had a helmet on, so he's yeah. all right. <laughs> well, I had to give him one kick. Like, he was. He stole my back. Well, so, friends back. Th- and that was in. Um, it was a long time ago. Yeah, that was in the. Uh, in the so, it made the paper? It made the paper. Yeah. Yeah. So, Vossi and you. It's like the. Uh, if you break a leg, I broke a leg. I you did reach, first. People, you reach out. People yeah. reach out. Did you reach out? I should have, but I don't have his number. <laughs> Mm. No. Nah. Anyway, so, Dill's so, in Bali. What was going on with Dill? Well, what he he's, he he texts me over. I was away. Uh, I went out for a bit of a hunt and a and a fire oh, okay. out in uh, in Yay with my my neighbour, good mate. And Wait, he's, on the weekend on on Friday night. Yeah, and was it windy. Uh, it was yeah, oh, incredibly God, windy. We didn't see windy. much because of that. But um, Dill's all over me. He's, I'm thinking about buying this bike, and I'm like, mate, I'm like, I'm, so I just put it to straight to do not disturb mm. essentially. And I checked in again, and I was like, you know what, mate, I'll say you mine. Any, any photos? So I just tried to send in that one of me doing a, a mono on my Instagram page. Oh, Shout out to the mountain bike riders. <laughs> but he's in Bali at the moment, and he, oh. he he ran into my brother, who's there at that exact same place they're staying at. My brother has texted me. He said, mate, ran into Dill. He said, you might want to tell him to buy a rashi. <laughs> he's embarrassing. <laughs> he said he's rig his Have you, have you, have you soft met and, Brett's brother? I have, yeah. He's yeah. better looking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you reckon? That's a pretty good looking guy. Mm, no, no. Thanks, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a really good pedigree of family, isn't it? Well, yeah, throw it back to our mum and dad, I suppose. Yeah. They have good genes. But, um, and no. your brother was meant to catch up with Dill for a gym session yeah, this morning. and Dill bailed on him because he's, <laughs> yeah, and that's why he's pudgy and, uh, and carrying a bit. But um, that's okay. He's enjoying himself. He'll be back next week. So we look forward to having him back. Dill's away. Yeah. And Dill sent in um, a little voice note for us. Oh, I'm not he? sure where this is oh, going. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, as the Balinese say, Tara Makasi, which means thank you. Thank you so much, guys for filling in uh, without me this week. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Brettles. Little Brett Brett. And thank you, Mick. Congratulations uh, to you, Mick, and the North Melbourne Kangaroos again on such a fantastic year of growth. Um, but alas, I am on a holiday at the moment in Bali and I'm having a fantastic time. I just wanted to say a big thank you for you guys for filling in today on this episode of Footy and Friends. Even though I have been keeping up 
uh, with the footy. I watched it, watched a few KO minis, obviously, over the weekend, just catching up, heading into the final series, and and um, yeah, aren't we aren't we ready for an enthralling series? I am very excited um, by this. Also, side point: there's been a lot of list management um, at Richmond. I'm looking forward to seeing who gets their numbers next year. We'll chat about that next week when I'm back, Brett. Um, all the important things there. So. Yes, as I said, I, um, I've been watching some footy over here, just chilling out. I've seen, you know, about a thousand Boris sightings over here in Bali. They're all beautiful little Borises running around. Um, a funny one for you boys this week, Brett actually tried to sell me his old mountain bike, um, which, um, you know, I'm not sure why, um, but thanks for that anyway, Brett. Appreciate it. Uh, Mick Barlow, congratulations on the All-Australian uh, Boundary Umpiring, mate. And um, there was a question I forgot to ask Robin Nahas last time he was on the podcast. I just can't remember what it was. There was one question, something to do with, um, I don't know, everyone's been asking that, saying that Robin's going to bring his own tripod to the recording. So I'm not sure what that means, but if you can ask um, Robin about that, that'd be awesome. So anyway, boys, have a good episode. Can't wait to tune in and uh, make sure you read the fucking run sheet. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just covered off all we've talked about. Yeah. Um, on, geez, he sounds relaxed. He's yeah. relaxed. Yeah. He's hugely relaxed. But this time of year, we um, we wrap up the season. What we are going to do today is wrap up the season of the 10 sides that didn't make the finals. Mm. Okay, so as I've done, re- read the run sheet, we need a best and fairest yep. um, from each of these sides. And I'll just pin some questions at you. Yeah. Right, that. Okay, but before we get there, yep. Amy, this episode obviously brought to a... By Amy. You, by our friends at Amy. We need we need a clanger. So this time of year is exit meetings. Yeah. Okay, so I'd like us all shit time of year. to conjure up our oh, best yeah. exit meeting. You been um, delisted? Nah. No, you wouldn't know what it feels uh, like. Delisted bro. twice or once? Four times. Four, four times. Four times. But I've been like knowing I was going to get re-rookied. We, we went through this last time. So. Well, it wasn't here. Mick, Mick wasn't here. You, oh. actually, you were sitting in my chair. Yeah, sorry, Mick. Yeah, yeah, I figured that. Yeah. Um. No, I um. twice delisted knowing mm. that I was going to get re-rookied, re-rookied and then... Twice delisted, not knowing what was going to happen. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Hey, so, have you got um, outside of those ones that you've been sat through and oh, tormented? I've got a couple of good mates that have had some funny ones. Yeah, I, I've got a, I've got a good one. I'll kick it off while you conjure it up. One of our good friends, good good friend of the program, yeah, who doesn't listen or watch football, Clayton Hinckley. <laughs> oh, Craig. Okay, and I think I've told this numerous times, but it gets makes me giggle every time. In 2011, mm. he's um, you know, he's his fourth year into the system, and usually after four years, if you're not an established player in the side. You reckon you're under, under pressure? I would have thought. Yep. But Clayton's walking into his exit meeting thinking, well, I'm out of contract, but, you know. I've shown some things. Yeah, I've, I've shown some things. I've, shown, I've got some upside. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Pipes you know, are good. <laughs> your pipes are good. The Instagram wasn't around back then, but yeah. my Facebook profile, my MySpace yeah. is looking good. Yeah. Everything that is required to be an AFL footballer, I am delivering on. Yes. <laughs> He's come 42nd in the best and fairest. Wow. He's That's, pretty happy with so that. So there's only two after you, or yeah. was he last? I think there was 46 on the list at <laughs> yeah, the time. Okay. Four um, rookies, though. <laughs> he played. It, it just. He, I think his exit meeting was a little bit later because the Swan Districts went a little bit deeper yep. into September. Yeah. So he's like, that's, pl- that's another bonus. Yeah, yeah. Finals, he's still playing play finals. Play yeah. finals. Yeah, yeah. He's played a longer season. Yeah. So he's feeling pretty good about. Oh, he- and he walks in and um, gobsmacked when Mark Harvey goes to him, mate. There's nothing there. <laughs> this is where the road ends for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, and he's, he's, he describes it as being. Absolutely sideswiped by a car, yeah, and then just taking off, <laughs> not leaving the details. Oh, so no, no feedback on the end of it. Just no. Nah, I think, I think coming forty second in the best and fairest was enough. Yeah, that's that's enough. awareness yeah. from Hinks. Not very. No, good. not very good. No. Nah. So yeah. our friend Clayton, who he, he'll get a lot of feedback about that story, yeah. mainly from his friends because he won't be listening. But yes. over to you, um, Uzi. What do you got? Uh, good friend Aaron Edwards. Yeah, as one yeah. of the ledge. Yeah, one of the best, best off field operators ever. Yep. Uh, Eleven one year contracts, which is hard to do. Yeah. And he was a gun. He, he loved the fact that he was a list clogger. That's how he saw he himself. Was, yeah, he, he wasn't. But he, wasn't he, was a, he was a, he he was was a, a great, super player. But he said, oh, list cloggers, mate, this is where we're at. Mm. 11 one-year contracts. Who's with me? And, Are you and, playing uh, 100, 100 goals in the VFL? Kangaroo failed. Tiger. Yeah, same as me. Yeah. yeah. 100, 100, 100 VFL goals. He West Coast yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, started wicked. at West Coast. Yeah. yeah. So 11 one-year contracts, which obviously is fucking hard to do. But then he... um. He finally was going to get a two-year contract. and Which club was this at? Was that at Richmond? No, it's at North. At North, he was about to get a two-year. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and then uh, as it gets on the piss the night before, rocks up late to the exit meeting and then back to one year. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, Brett's got three kids, so mm. is that if your kids misbehave, that's you take away their yes, what they, rewards what they half thought, them? What they thought they were going to get, yeah. they don't have anymore. Mm. What do you got, Brett? You got and, no, I haven't. I don't remember. You walk in and yeah. you know, it's it was all pretty positive reinforcement. I only ever looked toward what the RFIs were as to how I could get better to have them make us better. You know. And so, would you question them on the RFIs? Uh, I'd want clarification. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd need clarity. Um, 
because I want to understand exactly what it looks uh, like and how that looks to get better. The only time I got probably the tap was at the end at the, the Giants. Mm. I sat down with Cambo and Leon, and they both said, "I reckon it's not really worth going around again, mm. considering how many injuries you had." And, um, weigh up your options if you want and I said righto you're telling me I'm going to retire <laughs> That's hey, it. honest question Brett would you mm. go into the exit meetings not talking about you but more about like where we're going as a footy club like uh, what, what can we not bring? early certainly not early I, but they weren't really a thing that much when I first started the, yeah. uh, the full exit meeting it was more we used to get reports back from Plow after every single game you get an end to season sheet of how he saw your yeah. year yeah. Um, but then handwritten uh, well, typed, typed up. up. Yeah, but I think Plow used to get on the old uh, dictaphone, dictaphone <laughs> and, uh, and then give it to the PA and she'd type them up and we'd all get it in a little package at the end of the year. But um, that was after every game. He'd, what, he'd give, dictaphone it. Yeah, dictaphone on the way into the club. But I think, uh, yeah, it's more with Dimmer that we had the real, the, yeah. like the end of season um, review stuff. And this is where we saw, yeah, this is what we're trying to do. This is how we can get better. This is how you can get better. More mm. leadership type stuff probably with Dimmer than it was anything else. But. Mm. Um, I'd start to challenge. I'd challenge, go in and speak to Blair and challenge him a fair bit yeah. on, right, who are we getting, how are we getting better, get what are we doing? Oh, they would have, lo- they <laughs> would have loved seeing you at oh, the yeah. end of the year. Yeah. Brett's coming in. Yeah, okay. And I have to deal with our recruiters, and, and a lot of these boys are still in the game now as recruiters, and I used to go in and say, oh, which pick are we fucking up this year, boys? <laughs> and oh, yeah, now you're trying to get guys drafted yeah, and with now them I'm there. like, oh, so, mate, so I, well? uh, <laughs> I just want to apologise for my attitude as a player. Um, yeah, but can, now can I, re- I actually hey, you, you do reflect, don't you? But I understand how hard it is as mm. a recruiter and what they were going through. But Fine you stop. do reflect, um, and young, dumb, immature. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we move on. We no. do move on, and we're going to move into the the season review of every side that missed the final. So yeah, got, now I'm thinking I'm looking at ten sides, right? And yeah. we, we know how Start of the we need to manage our time mm. here. Mm. Um, so we won't put a time limit on, but if I feel like we're waffling a bit too much and you do the same, let's just gong us. But before yeah. we do that, Matt, can you go get me a glass of water? Because the throat is struggling already early <laughs> into the show. Um, after a big week, the head cold. A bit yeah. nasally, which is, imagine this thing. Yeah, getting that, that beak getting be, a bit clogged it should be up. clogged. Yeah. And we're going to start right down the bottom. Yeah. A team close to your hearts. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And I also sat in a meeting with Dimmer and Blair Hartley once, maybe to go to the Tigers. What year was that? 2016. Oh, they were trying to replace Delidio. Ah, oh, yes. Um, but they went with another option. Mm-hmm. Josh Caddy. Josh Caddy. A <laughs> couple, of, couple of premierships well done to Josh. <laughs> Two and 21. Yeah. They finished in 18th. Miserable year. Yeah, let's let's wrap it up. How would you sum it up? Injury riddled. New yep. coach. Oh, uh, just hadn't been, didn't get their opportunity to really put their best foot forward, I think. And that's the the nuts and bolts of it. And then by the end, yeah, uh, coming off a successful era and then having um, the year that they've had, I think it's... Where they're at now with the amount of guys that are requesting trades is, you know, it's, they I've just heard need something rebuild. interesting from the Tigers. I don't know how true this is, so I'm not going to. But apparently, memorabilia from like the 217 flag is sort of getting taken away to, to like from the players that's still playing. And I think a few players aren't quite happy with that. Been taken but, away? How as so? in As in not shown around mm. the club. Photos. Oh, right at the start to, of the year, wasn't it? Yeah. To try yeah. and start. A, yeah. A so, new and I can understand era. the premise mm. of it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. there's still players that are playing. Like, mm. that is for yeah. me. And I don't know. I you just, can kind of understand both sides of the coin. Yeah. That, no, yeah. And the coach needs to come in, set the yeah. tone, and restart, regenerate. Yeah. But also, you've got to acknowledge your history. But Especially when you've got guys still playing in yeah. that team. I think also, like, Dimmer leaving, you know, a lot of people still connected to him. Brendan Gale and everything that he's done, he's leaving. Um, do you, with with Dimmer trading away some first round draft picks to get the boys, to, to get, get a couple guys in, and, Toronto. and then deciding it's not going to, well, yeah. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. And then moving, over, moving off. How much has that set them back now? Uh, yeah, I've got no doubt that, you know, they were sold on getting Hopper and Toronto for another push. And, and they could have had that with no injuries. I yeah, reckon, well, I, th- I still think Lynch in there, Gibkiss playing every game, Tyler Young, another yeah. big key back, um, Prestia uninjured, Hopper, Tarano, um, the best of both teams. They're still, best best they're still then, good players. Then you can, Rail, then you can look after yeah. Martin more so and not expect him to be your best player. Yeah, all no, of no those doubt. things. But halfway through last year, Dimmer said, nah, I've had enough and that's it, which is completely fine. If you cook these sausages mm. a thousand ways, um, as you said, but. I, yeah, I got a feel Boris. for for, for Hobbs. Is that a, Boris? Boris is, <laughs> um, I, I feel for it's for Timmy and Jacob because I know that they were they would have been sold on being coming to have the Have you club. heard anything directly from them or no. in and around? Because you don't. Yeah, that's all the the perception is they would be. Yeah, I saw Timmy before a game. I was going to 
when was that? Uh, oh, it would have been actually round one. When they played Carlton, I was taking my old man to the game. We, I jumped out and they were all coming into the game because we, we were getting there early. I said, how are you going, man? He's like, no, nah, well, it's not exactly. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we've got a big game tonight, you know? So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I feel for him. What do they get? So, huge numbers. If Bolton leaves, Rioli yeah. leaves, Baker leaves, Graham leaves. Yeah. Anyone else I've missed? Um, Baker, uh, you said that's Baker. four. Yeah, no, that's four. That's the four that. What about you? You're the manager. Well, then Dusty's retired as well. Oh, Dusty's so gone. Yeah. Uh, um, well, the retired. best, the best draft Pickett. hand for them will be Shea Bolton. Mm. He's got them the most um, currency, I would imagine. Then Liam Baker, then Rioli, then Jack Graham's a free agent, so he can just choose where he would like to play. So you'd be stiff to get delisted, wouldn't you, if you're a Richmond player this year? Yeah. Well, I mean, when I was drafted, and Big Pato we just saw out there before, he was in my draft. Um, we had five picks inside 20, and they'll have that plus a couple more. How many did we hit? But I think one. Um, <laughs> no. we, um, How did I know that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that what they'll try and do is package a couple oh, to shit. potentially move that on to get in someone else. But I don't know what they need. Because yeah, they'll have one. They'll definitely and, have one. And this year's draft is very even. Mm. Could they potentially, like, is there potential to package? Trade it, yes, a trade package, package a couple up at the back end to maybe get in a bit earlier. Yeah. Um, build, or it, in, build it quickly. Yeah. Depends yeah. on how they want to do it. And what they get for yeah, right. Baker will be in and around 10, 11, 12, probably. Mm. Shea Bolton, I think three, I've got eight and nine or somewhere around there. Mate, without having it all in front of me, yeah. we should get Mitchie Cleary on because he'll give us the best. Yeah, right listen to that other podcast if you want yeah. real. But let's go to the, the best and fairest of the year. Who wins it? Who wins it? Round, round table. Brett, we'll start with you. Uh, I think Timmy Tirano will probably go back oh, to back. I think Daniel Rioli. Mm. Yeah, he'd be chance. Yeah, I like Rioli as well. Yeah. Be that awkward one, you know, the old um, yeah, yeah. get Don't, up Danger, there, Danger did that, didn't he? He won at Adelaide Danger. and then he left. I always remember Michael Ricciatelli did that. Oh, yeah, he did years too. Years ago, went to the at Gold the, Coast. Yeah, at the Lions. And then won went to the, the Lions and then went. Yeah. And it was all a bit awkward. Risha. Yeah. So, Daniel Rioli. Daniel Rioli too. And I said Timmy Tirano, but he yeah. missed a couple with concussion late. And so he was very good early. But he's backtracking. So he's, yeah. that's no, all I'm just, he, that Dill usually does that. <laughs> Give me one best and fairest tip. Then, oh, you know, buddy, uh, Torano, Presti was pretty good. He, he brought, <laughs> I'll change. <laughs> Brody's had a great year. Yeah, Brody's. <clears throat> um, 17th on the ladder, 3 and 20. Same as 2023. Yeah. Um, we're just kicking off with. Um, Much better year, though. Robin's previous two sides, 17th and 18th, the Kangas. Yeah. Mm. What do you reckon? I think, mu- year. yeah, much better. Wins and losses, like it's mm. a processing rather than the outcome. So the process, I think, is coming. Yeah. Their midfield is strong. Key position still struggles down back. You'd know it better than anyone. Mm. But I think down back still key position struggles. And then that understanding of like how to finish and win. Yeah. There was a couple late. The Frio going away, even early. Frio, that, that was one of the best first halves at Eddie had. Yeah. The, the first half of the year. Was that was the only game we're really in? Mm-hmm. But the, the that was that was like a Harlem Globetrotters yeah. first half. Like, and you could see the, the the talent through the midfield. So, I think talent wise, it's there. You can obviously see the process coming coming through, and yeah, yeah. it was much better than a three. The, the three last two season. games do hurt in terms of they weren't exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, the last three or four games, I think there was some the little blowouts. So yeah. West Coast was the third last game, and you know. Three goals up with 90 mm. seconds ago. That, yeah, that one kicked, aside, that sorry, but there was a few it's games there where that. there was just a couple of blowouts that were just like, oh, the undone. Such mm. a, like the middle part of the year for the, that little stretch there where they became competitive and then really, uh, good. It was really good started to, yeah. yeah. You could see the growth. So there was a clear shift from but, the first half of the second half in terms of the way that the game was played. Yeah. Um, I think um, Robin hit the nail on the head in terms of the the need for some support down back, yep. which yep. Griffin Logue so who's played, out there? Griffin Logue plays two games for the year, so you'd, you'd like him to come back in and play. Where, where you know, did you want him to go? Forward. Uh, he wanted him forward. Yeah. And What an idiot. But Cadman's coming as well. Yeah. That's so, right. Oh, yeah, Cadman's gonna, coming. Yeah. Stuck, which yeah. Adrian Caruso has since texted yeah. and said, <laughs> Cadman's not coming. He we, has actually. We struggle him. at North to ever hit any target that we've gone through. What are we, 0 and 15 in the last three years mm. to actually get a free agent? What's yeah. the reason? Oh, gee, it was hard. Pro- probably doesn't help when you're mm. uh, three and twenty. Yeah, but I pl- I've played there. It's an unbelievable football club. Like well, maybe I just wheel you out as a spokesperson. But oh, I think I'm telling you now, like I've, it is that? one what? hell of a football yeah, club. What? Like it is. I met guys now that are still my best mates: Robbie Tarrant, Michael mm. Fredo. Like, I'm still close with Boomer. Um, as as a club, like you go in there and it's it's it was different than being at Richmond. Um, like I said last time at Richmond, it was a fashion show and we were pop stars. But you go to North. This is 
prior to Different the Different mo- Yeah, it? just let me explain. All right, don't jump <laughs> who in. Was the, who was the ringleader of the pop stars? This one right here. <laughs> no, he was he was trained by Brownie and Richo yes, and exactly all the rest right. of it. So Richo. that's it. Was a different yeah, era. But what I'm saying, well, that's when I started, so I can only yeah, that's fair. I can only compare the two. So, but going to mm. North, it was just no egos. We were, you know, just working class sort of Hard footy club. By. But just, I just, I love that it was a place like I've, I played three years there. But I forever will have like a really good relationship with the people. Mm. Still, still that are part of the club. So, so, is that the best selling point though? Like, it, well, yeah, you, you, you want to go to work, work and enjoy the place you're yeah. at work, isn't it? Like, you want to have make sure the people around you are, are quality people. Yeah, and so I, I couldn't, I couldn't speak highly of North. I it's think more players club. now are more about building their brand, playing in front of big crowds, Petrarca, playing in wins. We're talking about? No, we're not. No, I think that's generally what I players. Hate, I hate that. I, it's different to when you and I. And social media has ruined everything. And that's what's that's where it's where it's at, mate. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, it's just part of it. Yeah, so that. that's where I'm saying, like, it's it, big clubs are always going to attract. Um, yeah, I, the I, biggest I, completely, names. I completely understand that too. <clears throat> I think in terms of drawing players, like again, the last two rounds probably don't help. Don't help. They don't help. But at the same time, being within the the environment, the, yep. the last half of the year, there's some some cause for optimism. Um, Who'll be their best player in uh, three years' time? I think Harry Sheasel. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. He, he's a, we, as good LDU as LDU second. I love LDU. Yeah, LDU um, Wardlaw. Yeah, Wardlaw's coming through. Like he's got some kinks in his game. Nineteen years old. Like mm. a lot of these guys are nineteen or twenty. That well, Sheasel's probably the class, isn't he? Like he's got. If he's at if he's at a bigger club, he's mm. talked in the same. Right, Dacos, you reckon? Absolutely yeah. is. Mm. I yeah. couldn't say it anyhow. He's I was easy. actually listening to Nick Dacos speak this morning. Um, it was a it was a replay, but he sounds they sound very similar the mm. way they both speak, and they're very mm. thoughtful, very humble, very driven young men. But let's um, who wins their BNF? Let's skip to the BNF. Sheasel missed too many games. Late. I probably can't comment because I actually vote on this. Yes, <laughs> oh, so I'll, I'll tip Sherry. I think he'll win it. Uh, yeah, well, the, hard, the hardest thing about best of fair is victim is standard. So well, Sherry, you know, you know this know is that. first time. Yeah. The first time he's had it. He's had a really break breakout yeah. year, full year. So um, he's probably going to. She's missed the last couple. Yeah, Aldi, you'll be Aldi, you played. Yeah, Aldi, those three. Yeah. So who are you going with? Sherry. Sherry. I have to go. I'll go Sherry. <coughs> you know what I'm happy about? Uh, Jai Sim can get back in the midfield in the last month. Or you like that? He's a good bloke. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good man. man. I really like that. Yeah, he's playing half four for half the year, and then he gets he in the midfield and he's dominating. Yeah. He's um he's going well. The, the boys are over in Bali at the moment. So one of the, I was driving yes. in. Yes, um, I know. There was, what, do you, what do you think? About going to Bali? Yeah, well, people get like, been. end up Never been. About, about Why? players on the off season being in Bali and putting up social media. Photos. What, what's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. They're finished. They're, they're, Wait, don't they're, look at me. They're, they're, they're not getting ready for finals, are they? No, they Corns is the one he hates. Oh, more than anyone. something on the way. Yeah, just, about, yeah. Don't dress up. Don't have fun. Yeah. Just train. Don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's great. Go wallow. Awesome. Jermaine Jones's boys. Yes. In 16th. The Weagles. Now, we got an extensive run sheet. And a lot of questions on all the teams. Except for these guys. Except for West Coast. Yeah. And we're so Vic biased, as I've we seen are. a few times. Yeah. 5 and 18, they finished 16th. Yeah. Sum it up, Brett. Uh, well, lost their coach, I think. Who's going to coach you? I, I've got no idea. I, um, <laughs> I saw on a show the other day that you can't coach West Coast. You've got too many tattoos. Tattoos, yeah. Cats. Oh, <laughs> what was that? So was that? So you can't go to Bali. And, and you, and you, you can't, can't have tattoos. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that too. Um, that was ridiculous. I, I, honestly, I've got no idea. I think... Um, there's a few boys that I do know that are in the mix. Is Andrew McWalter, um, who's at uh, no. was it the Tigers, Melbourne yeah. now um, going for it. Brendan Lade, another good friend oh, of mine, yeah. who's in the mix. Is, as that, well. is he at the Western Boroughs? He's at the Western yep. Boroughs, doing good things in their midfield. Yeah. Um, You'll see him down there at the Grand Final Parade, Brett. Yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> oh, yeah, we now I've sent you a oh, recap, this. This, recap this for me. Yeah. So um, I said last week mm. um, that if <laughs> the, if the Western Boroughs win <laughs> the flag. <laughs> I will personally go and pick up Boris mm. from Mum and Dad's. You haven't spoken to for how long? Uh, I spoke to Dad yesterday. It's Father's Day yesterday, but oh, I haven't spoken to Boris in could you hear since him? I played. Did you hear Boris just <laughs> nipping, nipping, nipping <laughs> in the heels? No, I couldn't. Um, he's deaf and he wouldn't have heard me either. The poor old bugger, blind. Anyway, they're going to send me a jumper mm. to put on to Boris um, to bring him down to the kennel. What number? Twelve. Uh, well, oh. I want twelve, but yeah. Um, yeah, it, we'll, we'll see. I haven't yeah. seen it yet. It's it's being sent apparently. So. Shout out the Western Boroughs. I'm pretty pumped with that. So Laid McWalter. That's all that's all I know. Um, Stencox coming from the clouds. Well, know, I've uh, heard him. He sa- did he say no? Who's he said no, but they're in the midst of the game. What's he called? It's uh You're Smart, the manager. Smart, what's that? It's um how they what's what's it called, Brett? Well, Brett, help me out. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming for a handball receiver. I'm not sure what you want to. 
the, the, their positioning <laughs> yeah. was it's his job right is it, if it's his oh, job it's but a, hey, um, let us get through the finals yeah yeah what's um, that called Brett I'm still I, here I'm I, don't know, tackle. I don't know what you're looking for <laughs> yeah, just yeah, anyway get a freaking against, against. Yeah. um I think they're the most thinking? exciting young player. Obviously, Harley yep. Reid had a uh, big year. Unlucky <coughs> getting suspended. Not unlucky. I mean, yeah. it was a dangerous tackle. Um, he plays on the edge, doesn't he? Yeah, mm. he does. He's got a bit of shit in him. Mm. Um, Ruben Jinby, another one who's coming through. Was he not his off season, Harley? Ward and how good was that? Yeah, I can't imagine he's just going straight back to Tony. He might be. Um, spent a bit of time in a chuka, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't manage the kids. So I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't care. Um, <laughs> if he's got no money to be made, he doesn't care. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's. Aww. He pitched him. He pitched yeah. him, but he went. went well, I actually rate the kid. He's a good kid. Mm. Um, Waterman, well done on to him getting uh, so all Australian. I didn't, didn't they got, expect they that. got two jackets. He oh, got a 2023 jacket for some reason. Did you see that? Yeah. I didn't. They gave him the wrong jacket. That. Yep. But yeah. no, he, he he's obviously he'll win their best and fairest by more. Like, Waterman, we has to. Like, that's he a, missed a few games, didn't he? All Australian yeah. breakout year. Yeah. Well, we said victory. Oh, yeah. McGovern, will, McGovern will go well. Uh, yep. McGovern, yep. Uh, Yo played a really good year. Missed a bit of footy. Missed so much. Yeah, but he, he had some games where he back into the year. I'll go with Waterman for their best and fairest. So we're on the same page, man. Yeah. Mickey. Oh, it's hard to argue. Oh, he, he's for a guy that's come in and, and played so well. It's I'd, hard to care, Rick. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Cripps is another one. He just continues to play, goes well, but I don't know how well he'll play. What um, what are they? Forwards, what, what's their off season look like? Because what is their off season? What look is like? their, What do they need to bring? Maybe in? get a coach. Yeah, coach. Um, get a coach. Yeah, they'll get Liam Baker. Maybe Jack Graham. Yep. Um, Bol- does Bolton say where he wants to go? <coughs> I think Frio is his pref- preference. Um, so whatever, a Baker, I assume, will go to mm. West Coast. And I think they couldn't do both uh, Baker and Bolton to West Coast. I'd, I'd imagine he'd want to go and play with a side that he thinks is going better. Yeah. It's going to be a little build over there yeah. at West Coast. So um, Jack Graham potentially they go to Chad Warner in a couple of years as well. Yeah, $4 million, million dollar deal. Yeah. Yeah. So they've got to keep some money free for that. Harley Reid's going to sign his... 10 year extension Chad want to come over on 10 year yeah problem solved yeah easy All right, that's yeah. All right. done. Yeah. Um, they'll only have 30 players on the yeah. list um, but they're going to lose Barass um, Hawks I don't want that to happen I yeah. don't want Hawks to be well, that's, good that's almost a guaranteed I think so anyway they, they, they've got some work to do <laughs> we move on Adelaide um, hey, probably yeah, one of the more disappointing big let down yeah. massive yeah. yeah I thought they were only kick out of it last year that Swans game and then to just lose games they shouldn't have lost. Never and didn't show us. I don't reckon their progression. But what's Nix's record with games lost by under ten points? I, I know you probably can't get that out that quickly, but I think it's ridiculously like he's. Max, that, this is not Sir Swamp thing over here. Mate. <laughs> oh, just, <laughs> oh, I just asking the questions. Oh, we're talking footy, no, just, <laughs> But I'm being serious. We like, Daniel Hoyne from Champion <laughs> Data. <Darwin. laughs> he's getting bull. What's his name? Mac, who's swindling on a swivel chair, <laughs> yeah. talking about all the chicks he picked uh, up in Swan Hill. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, my point is they've been very unlucky with with those losses under 10 points which can have an yeah. effect on yeah progression well, I um, I don't I, I think they probably over over progressed last, last year. year yeah but he's been in the job a while now Matthew Nix but yeah still um, a few of their key forwards came on this year but where, where did they actually let themselves down like was it mid, no, midfield, no midfield I was at ranking missing through. big games yeah. um, yeah. with hamstring troubles and then concussion late mm. I think that uh, he's what they need in terms of zip will he be he's, he's just one off the cuff mm. uh, off the, off the off cuff the for you if you were to guarantee well this is I would guarantee one player's going to be all shown next year Isaac Rankin yeah if he, he stays, hasn't been yeah, stays, stays fit, yep, absolutely. Out of that side. Yeah. Give me one. I've taken Isaac Rankin. Oh, out of Adelaide's team? No, nah, out of anyone. I've oh. gone off the run sheet here. Yeah, jeepers. Um, qu- questions do you want to sit on? Do you want to sit on that whilst we finish Adelaide and not yeah. come back to you? Yeah, let me have a go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think, look, with Adelaide, what they need is some more midfield um, speed. Yeah, speed. I think they're the same sort of type players in there. I think when you say Ben Keys even go in there with a little bit different. Oh, right. he's, he's had a great year. He, yeah. he, 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 I reckon that's what I was going to say. You know, I, wrote he wins off five, I wrote Ben Keys off five years. Playing yeah. against him in the knee fall. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that was kind of, I was looking around and it was the the graveyard of AFL. I was like, <laughs> holy shit, where are we going here? Ben Keys is here. You're finished. <laughs> And then he's, he's had turned, a great year. He's turned 40 into goals a, or something. Yeah, 40, 40 odd goals. Yeah. And he's always been younger than I've thought he was. Yeah. So I was running around when I was 31. Shocking haircut. In the yeah. So I was just assuming Keys was mid 20s yeah. and finishing up. But Explain that haircut yeah. to me. I don't like it. It looks confused, doesn't it? Like he wants to go to the curtains, but then he wants the mohawk just and the short sure, fade like yeah, Arthur Shelby. Too high. The, fade, the fade's too high. Oh, your haircut looks good. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no, I've sure that. You, isn't it? What have you done? I mean, like you and and well, deal before he. Um, I oh, said, give I me really a bag like of sausages. <laughs> and 
Fuck it up brand. as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, look really I good. just I've gone just short and sharp, nice and easy to ma- maintain. Um, that's fantastic because the girls kept trying to play with it and do plats and all that sort of stuff. When you're a girl, dad, that's what happened. So I shortened it up. Give me your best and fairest for the Adelaide Crows. If it's not keys, yeah, I'm going keys. I'll say a smoky Max McElhenney. Max, Max Sports? No, he's not. No. He should be because no. it's Mac. Oh, well, yeah, well, he's a good player. And Maybe has he, did he ever? Oh, this is a doing <laughs> question. Did he ever consider going with you because it's Mac? No, nah, it's not. Um, his <laughs> name's Max Michael Lanny. Uh Good young player. I don't know whether he, he probably might finish in the top ten. Do you know who I'm going with? Who? I think he just wins it. Jordan Dawson. He's the best player there by. He I? is. I'm not sure he had his as best. But he's year. just. He consistently yeah. performs. One. Yeah. There's a few players that um, need Where big the, off seasons. Um, do they make the finals next year? Uh, is right now the eight? No, I, 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 it's hard to know what team who drops. So I don't worry about who goes in. Who drops? Well, Kangas obviously go in. Yeah. <laughs> but who, who drops out of the eight? Who? So you think Collingwood would have another tilt, depending on what they do? Cats. Do they? Oh, oh, they you can't keep riding them off. It's I've fourteen said years I've out of eighteen, yeah, top four. Year. So yeah, cats will go out. Don't ride it. Don't ride them off. Port Adelaide. No, yeah. but, um, Port Adelaide chance of winning. Yeah. No. Nah. I'm just taking the piss by the way. Yeah. I think eight, eight teams will stay in and then we'll do a deal and four or five will jump in. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a top 15. Um, right, next side. Did you have best and fairest? Who did you have? Well, I said Keys. I think um, yeah, Keys. Mike, yeah, Mike yep. said. Keys, Keys and Dawson. Oh, another disappointing team. Straight sets in the finals last year. Yep. Um, how much, the Demons, 11 and 12, yep. 14. Yep. Trying off season. Yes. How much did that, if any, Oh, well, it hurts when it's yeah. one of your best players who's involved yeah. and he doesn't have his best year. So we, we, I think we all know how important off-seasons are and pre-seasons are to having a good year <laughs> off the back of that. And he smiles because I used to get him out of bed to actually come and train with him. Well, after a big night of PlayStation. Oh, yeah. oh, God. God. 11, 11 o'clock, please, Brett. Yeah. No. 11 o'clock. I was like, well, let's get it done, mate. I'll meet at you 7.30. <laughs> oh, maybe 10? How does 10 sound? <laughs> Half oh, a day's oh. gone, Robin. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> Pre-seasons are huge and off-seasons are huge for players to have True. a big following year. And when it's one of your best players and you rely mm. heavily on him, and I'm talking about Clayton Oliver, um, mm. just couldn't... His season was, for, in, in standards, very average. Yeah, hiding him at half-back at half the time, broken hand off, whatever that was. He played it, through a lot, no, no doubt. Like, yeah. he had a fair bit of... Uh, yeah, a, lot, a lot of his own doing, though, so you don't feel any... Is there a bit of blue that. sky with them in terms of... Petrarca's going to stay. That's, that's the, no, yeah, that's no the word. Petrarca's going to stay. Gorn's re-signed. Jack Viney did the thing where he was going to go to North and then stayed for four years. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and another, then, another hit for North. Um, Oliver, you know, can he have, have a good off-season, pre-season? Yeah, but they... No they're, key forwards can't, they can't compete. Van that, Roy? Yeah, but you can't, you're he not can't, just... Can't, he's he's jumps not ready. Yeah, he does, not, he crashes packs. He's not ready. So, no key forwards. I don't could, think Petty's... F- oh, that's why they play... Petty. I reckon they play that slow. Mm because of what they have up front. So if we can play slow, set lock the ground in. up, yep. lock it in, we're a chance of repeat entries. <laughs> I know some footy, Brett. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not questioning that. Yeah, so until I can get some quick, good mm. key forwards with their ball Wait, movement, so can then go a bit faster. Mm. Well, who's the key forwards? Lynch? Does Lynch move from... No, nah, I don't think Lynch will start. Apparently he's going to back into deal worth 1.5. 1. 1. 1. <laughs> That'd be nice, <laughs> so, wouldn't it? And I love Tommy Lynch. Yeah. Love him to death. He's only played a couple of games the last couple of years, but... Yeah, he's... You are old one. Don't, you? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't reckon you're tapping out now. No, I love him to death. He can do what he wants. Come the case. Um, what do they need? They need key forwards, don't they? Yeah, um, and when they lost their key backs as well, they looked un- under sorts a little bit yeah. down back. One of my boys, Adam Tomlinson, he's out of contract. So, um, we'll what's the reason to you? No. Where's he going? No idea. Don't know. <laughs> How old is he? He's 30. Yeah. Who's just making for the All Australian? You've had some time. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't got one. Yeah, me either. You haven't? No. no. So Isaac oh, Rocken. Uh, who's gonna uh, <laughs> who's gonna win their B and F? I think Maxwell Gorn will yep. smoke that. Yeah. And, yep. and yep. that'll make him seven time all Australian and three. Four. Neil Bourne's on the way out. Yeah. Um, they'll get like a second round or third round pick. They're pretty, yeah, I think pretty, no, pretty they won't even ask for too much because they said we'll help facilitate that. Yeah. Because yeah. Um second round's pretty good for Alex Neil Bullen. Yeah. yeah, you still got two years to run on a deal. We'll see. Um, best and fairest here, Max Corn. I feel like I've, I need to step outside. Viney's um, a chance. Rivers is a chance. Viney's not, I don't think, but I think Rivers is a chance. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> He's good at that, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, he would be. He'd be up. <laughs> Where's he going to finish? Jack Viney. Oh, Rivers. Eighth. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think he'd be in the top five. 
He's had a pretty good year. Oh, great stuff. Now, it was going to be a failed year for this side if they didn't make finals. Yep. And they're sitting here. And 80% of the list is the next premiership. Yep. So 11 and 12. So their most wins yep. since they've come into the, the um, Which is great. league. Which is great. Yeah. Let's just absorb the positives. But now let's bring them down. Yeah. What do you got? What do we need? We need a win away from home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's learn how to travel. <laughs> do they win any in from home? Away from one. One. Last round. Uh, second last. No, they won their last two away. Did they? They beat Essendon and then they beat. Oh, yeah. yeah Richmond. They're knock you boys off. Richmond. No, no Richmond, Richmond, Richmond in the, at the G. Richmond. They didn't get us out of the dome. No. <laughs> they were coming. <laughs> yeah, Richmond. They, um, Benny Ainsworth missed one. Yeah. We thought we were going to get Benny right. Ainsworth as well. Well, he's on the next week. <laughs> I've said this. Close they use North to up their contract. That's what it sounds like. Uh, uh, what, yeah, <laughs> they've, they've had a disappointing year from what they've got, and I think at times when they lose it away from home, it's their midfield that has ultimately let them down. I think, and that's uh, that falls back to they're they're young. I get it. And Anderson, Rao, they're not, Miller, they're not that young anymore. Miller's not. They're like twenty four. Yeah, are, are they? they? I don't know. Mac? Oh yeah, is it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's prime. Yeah, no, you what should... were you doing in 23? Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you all the same, Brett? No, I wasn't. How many all the same, Brett? Two. That's pretty good. Uh, it wasn't until <laughs> 23. Best and fairest? Two. Two? Yep. Pretty good player, aren't you? Yeah, which ones did you are pretty good, aren't you? When you were 23? Yeah, um, I don't know. I finished second to Trent twice. <laughs> in the... So you never won by yourself? Oh, no. So no, you, you I won two by myself. It's okay. But I'll finish second to Trent a couple of times. I finished sixth. My favourite? I finished sixth once, yeah. Did you? Yeah. What do you get for that? Another contract. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, got an unknown, unnamed player because this is funny, but not for him. He was second coming into the finals mm. in the best and first. Ben Nason. I think there was a lucrative con. Ben Nason. <laughs> <laughs> it was Ben Nason. He was second coming into the finals. Mm. I think there was a lucrative kind of trigger. Yes. Top five. Six. Finals finished. Sixth. <laughs> <laughs> now there's an Amy Klanger. Yeah. Uh, Might have been me. Anyway. <laughs> What's no, really? I never finished as high as sixth. What, what was your best finish? You were going um, to win the Brownlow one year. You remember I was. that? Yeah, I appreciate that. First year. For the Goround medalist. You That's know, right. I mean, it was the year after you. That was the year before me, maybe. No, a year after. Well, Jack, I was too. We've got a yeah, VFL chair. Yeah, VFL chair. Oh, sorry, guys. Well, sorry. Six, 16 years in a row, or however long. Yeah, the drafted. Follow the Goround medalist. Got drafted. Been drafted. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Since I think. Brett doesn't know what the VFL is. Brett, no. the VFL What's is. That? A, is that the best player in the Below the AFL. It's when you don't play AFL, you go play. play a couple of games. Nifl. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. We, 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 me, Mick and I play um, against each other. It's the best, most promising talent under 21 in the VFL. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, both Who won it last year? Sam Closey. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Good player. It's going all right. Right. We'll keep an eye on that this year. Saints. Yes. Disappointing. It'll year. be the kid from Richmond, VFL this year. I don't reckon disappointing it. at all. I think they overachieved last year. I reckon they haven't got a... Who's that, Gold Coast or St Kilda? We're talking St Kilda. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, move. Yeah, yeah. You, you I, reckon, I reckon I reckon overachieved last sorry, year. Oh, yeah, the best and fairest for Gold Coast. Oh, sorry, Noah Anderson. Anderson. How's my, how's my um, hosting going, Dan? Yeah, it's spot on. Mid-year review. Same, really good, same yeah. as Dill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Noah Anderson for me. Oh. Noah Anderson. Sam Collins. Oh, yeah, he's had a mm, great year. Really yeah. good year. Australian nominee. Nominee. 40. Yeah. Yeah. 44. Yeah. To, to be, I'm not going to even say one because I don't want to send up West Gold Coast to give you one, to be honest. West Gold Coast. West Gold Coast. Um, I don't know their name. The West Gold Coast Suns. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, couldn't give you one. The Saints. The, um, it's not oh. working on the Gold Coast, so we're going to move them to the yeah, West Gold Coast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon Saints overachieved last year. Yeah, and I reckon they're pretty much where they're supposed to be That's at a good the moment. Time. It feels like they're going to be um, quite ruthless. Like the Seb Ross thing. Yeah. Again, Seb Ross is younger than I thought. I feel like he's like 35, but... He's only thirty, mm. and he just didn't get his contract renewed. When you no. when yeah. you play for, I didn't. To, like, it's going to sound really bad. I didn't really know who Seb Ross was. Mm. Like when you play for a club like St Kilda, you don't really get as much recognition. So no, he's played two hundred games. Yeah. yeah, I was mm. shocked. Yeah. to see that. I think they've just signed Mason Wood too for another two so or three. Play with yeah. Mason, elite runner, good mm. role player. Like, you know that. Well, you know Ross loves his role players, yeah. and Mason does that. Well. Yeah, there's <coughs> his biggest fan sitting across the table. Yeah, right? no, here he is. <coughs> I think <laughs> I clear my throat most weeks, but this week's a well, new where world would record. you put him? Um, How many coaches you played under? Uh yeah, Ross first. Um, what what about hunt. Ross? I think he had a had a really good way of getting the best out of you, but not like being too friendly with you. Like he was very firm with me mm. and very and challenged me, but yep. it, it made you want to perform your role and yeah his, his coaching supported my strengths it was skill was taken out of it and it was all about effort and attitude <laughs> effort, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, and okay, i've said this a million times but it, it used to give you every now and then it give you a praise and give me praise in front of the group yeah 
Oh, Mick. Great stuff, mate. Like, have a look at this run off ball, you know, just getting a fingernail in. We'll cop it when you turn it over a couple of times again. <laughs> Backhand, <laughs> he always he'll build you up and then he'll smack you back down. So um, they clearly are looking at their side and and you know Seb Ross for as good as he's been for a long time and serviceable. It's like they've they've got to move past a player like yeah. him if they want to jump into the yeah. next. Zach Jones out of contract as well, so we need yeah. to see what happens with him. Hey, um, Matt, what are you, Matty Campbell got? Is it Matty Campbell? The guy? Matty Campbell, used little left footer, used to play at North Melbourne. North, no, who's a big Gruckman? Oh, um, Tom, Tom Campbell, Campbell finally got delisted. I think it was part time this year. It was my uh, my right. understanding. They yeah. just needed to back just up a, Ruckman. A journeyman, yeah. And he was happy to move on with his life. He'd packed his locker up and they well, said, sure, oh, mate, you Imagine back. how many years oh. I could have got if I was tall. It'd been great. It's remarkable. Remember Angus Graham? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> lived, lived with Angus. And, um, big we pipes. Know, we know. We know <laughs> Angus. Not <laughs> nine years. <laughs> big pipes. Um, Forty-eight <laughs> games, Angus. Yeah. Nine years. Good at giving feedback on the piss, uh, Angus. Nine mm. years. Forty-eight games. Mm. One Chrysler. <laughs> <laughs> Love the big yeah, yeah. Um but Saints, you know, best young talent they? is Darcy Wilson yeah, by a street. Um, yep. Like what he's done, I thought he was, you know, would have polled pretty well in the rising and the best first year player. Um, they need uh, some inside bits because they've got a bit of polish on the outside with Henry mm, and yeah. um, Bradley Hill. Sinclair. And yeah. Sinclair. Yeah, oh, Sinclair's another one. He'll, um, He'll poll very well. I think he wins oh, it. Roll Marshall will be up Royal there. Roll Marshall, yep. Stiff not doing the squad, I thought, all the same. Yep. Cal Wilkie will poll really well. So there's your top three. Uh, are you going to give us a winner? I'm going to say Roll Marshall's going to win. Roll Marshall, I like that one as well. Brett. Yeah, I'll say Sinclair just because I don't like Brett's. <laughs> the Bombrays. Now, listen to this, Brett. Have a listen to this for a, um, a, a stat line on their season. Yeah. 11 wins. Yep. One draw. Yep. 11 losses. And where'd they finish? 11. <laughs> Yeah, well, remarkable. Perfect. How do you like that one, Mac? Well, that's it. <laughs> 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 is it is 11's better than a number three, Mac? Yeah. Um, well, I've had that many people t- 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 um, hit me up about the number three. Mm. Like my fire pick from Friday night. They go, yeah. It looks like it's got more than three logs in it, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like... You can't. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, Essendon. Well, that, that was a bit of a fall from grace, weren't they? Not that long ago, they were sitting second. And... Just continued to lose games that you thought they would win, but uh, yeah, every, all the Essendon supporters that I know were just hopeful that they could hang on and potentially try and play a final and win. But yeah. I, I, it's funny because I've um, I rate Brad Scott as the best coach I've played under. Yeah, offensively, my footy knowledge, offensive game plan as good as they mm. they come. Defensively was never his strong suit. Like when we were playing at North, like yeah. it was never. But I think um, I think with him. At the helm, I just, I just think they'll get exactly. I think they'll get into the eight. I just, is, is he's he, so good. Is he a little bit similar with? Um, he's quite firm, but also he'll go to war for you. Yeah. Like he'll say whatever Loyal. he needs to say behind closed doors. But if the media will have anything to say about his players, yeah. he'll never, he'll never shy away from backing you in. Like yeah. I rate that. Um, yeah, he's, he's yeah, and his footy brain is as good as they come. Uh, so, so, so you're saying that it's haven't got the cattle just yet? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, can't remember the stats, but I heard Luke Hodge speaking about Essendon and, and all the areas that they're very good at, and they're high, but the areas that they're really poor at, and I can't give you the exact areas that he was talking about. And we don't need them. And, but, 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 <laughs> but, the areas, but the areas that they're Put bad at... in the vicinity. But the areas that they're bad at, they're in the bottom three to yeah. 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 play. Yeah. But when they're really good, they're top six or whatever. So they've just got to get those bottom areas into yeah. the mid-range, and that gives them, give them a chance. I think inside 50 is high oh, up, but they, yeah. they're not very good at... They had a game during the year. Not very good at... um. Capitalising on conversion. Yeah, conversion to scores or they score Peter a lot Wright of was out of, the, out of the side at the end Late. of the year, wasn't he? Yeah. What was going on there? Uh, just they had a better mix, they thought, with yeah. uh, just Caddy up front, I think. He can play now. Um, yeah, he's going to be a good player. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they do with Jake Stringer. He wants a two-year deal. He's hit a clause for a one-year deal. So is it? Yeah, he's um, just a teaser. I think guy. Essendon, um, they'll, they'll hold firm. They won't bend, I don't think, to Jake. And if he wants to go and explore to get that extra year, then... He might be off. Well, I'm he's just like, bought a house around the corner from me. <laughs> has he? Yeah. Well, that'll be strange. Yeah, well, to, yeah, yeah. I read somewhere he's going to Sydney. I, was like, oh, oh, I read that too today. I was just... I yeah. And I think they're knocking down the house and Bill. So good luck with the bill, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he wants the two years. He needs they shouldn't laugh because it's building costs are going yeah, through. Yeah, a bit of anxiety room. there when you when um, got the mortgage, Brett. Yeah, well, I'm no. familiar with it. Yeah, yes, a couple of. <laughs> How's the renovations going? Yeah, let's just start out in the backyard, mate. And I'm about to hemorrhage money. Where are you living at the moment? At home. No, it's just the backyard getting done yeah. at the moment. You've been to Brett's house? Um, yeah, the front. No, it was the in-laws. <laughs> he wouldn't let me in. in-laws. Yeah, yeah, I was at the in-laws. When we went up to Tura. Yeah, that's right. Uh, tough we used to live around the corner from each other, me and Brett, for a while. Is yeah. that when you train together in the yeah, morning? Yeah, yeah, 11 o'clock. 
<laughs> in the mornings. In the morning. It was still morning. Mid mid mornings. Um, Rest yeah, and Verus yeah. for Essendon. Zach Merritt. Yeah. Merritt. Yeah, Merritt just... Um, Sammy Durham will go well. Yeah. I, I love that kid. Where did he come from? Well, he was in Seymour. 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 Yeah. As in the yeah. GB. Mid-season? Yeah, yeah mid-season. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Can Richmond. Play. Richmond, Richmond, VFL. Richmond VFL. Richmond VFL. Yeah. Uh, anyone else that jumps yeah. out there? That, okay. Zach Merritt didn't make all Australia, did he? No. He was in the 40. Yeah. Mm. 44. 45. <laughs> um, so, all, Merritt all round? I'll yeah, Merritt. Merritt. Yep. Do you reckon they should do a... This is, again, I like being this, this chair because you can just ask stupid questions. Should they do a <laughs> second team? Yeah, the, the all star. Oh, oh, if you, you miss it, like the NBA does. Oh, if you miss it, you miss it. No yeah. more. Yeah, no. I don't think you'd want to have that on your resume. Oh, yeah, but he made the second team. <laughs> I'd take it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, don't make, making the forty is a pretty good achievement. Well, I mean, that's forty out of eight hundred players. Mm. Like, you, how many you, times did you make the forty? Uh, five or six, I think. And you converted twice. Mm. Yep. I, I got invited one year and didn't make the How invited to the night and I had to sit there and watch Bob Murphy and Leon Davis go who had better years then uh, well numbers wise yeah. <laughs> I, I said to Chief Gale I said fuck <coughs> this I'm never coming back to this thing again which it, is lucky I didn't have to didn't know but you went and got it the first what year, do you do with your the first, first year I didn't because I was in hospital with a knee infection yeah uh, second year I was there yeah I was with Jack and Rancy we all made it which is good yeah my blazer's sitting in my daughter's cupboard yeah. Yep. Do you Both. have any memorabilia hanging around the house of you? No, oh, yes. Does he? I haven't been there. I just know there would be. There'd be a room dedicated to Brett Dominic. It's from Katie. <laughs> yeah, you know where it's room. all It's all packed up in the, in the room. I've got. Um, he goes up there. I've got two friends. Stares at it from the early stages of my career. Mm. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, early stages. And I had them in the garage at, and we've just moved house. And I've got a couple of younger North Melbourne boys renting out that house now. Right. And I took everything out. Everything. Yeah. Apart from the two friends. <laughs> you just left them there. <laughs> just a little <laughs> reminder. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. Oh, my my girls just, don't even know. It. They, Dad, do you have any trophies or anything like that? We've never seen them. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, mm -hmm. You don't need if, to. You, if you, that girls, I don't know if you knew. Fremantle. I oh, say so you Google. Tenth. Yeah. With uh, three weeks to run or four weeks to run. Yeah. Maybe five. Second. Yeah. Worth it. <laughs> no, a third. Uh, they, uh, to their credit or to their defence, they had a pretty tough run home and didn't disgrace themselves yeah. in any of those games. No, they didn't. No, they didn't no, expect it. a lot of those were flipping the going games to win yeah. one. All they needed was one. Yeah. In and up to their eyeballs, had some key outs. I think mm. Tracy's actually a big out for them, yeah. Jake Tracy. <laughs> Jake Tracy, I think we were heard of. <laughs> um, yeah, Sean Darcy was also out, and yeah. Alex Pierce, huge for them. I think down back, he's probably you know captain, obviously, but sets him up. Uh, but had um, yeah, they were in it right up to it. And I, honestly, they lost also a game uh, at Adelaide Oval with that Jordan Clark free kick that was paid yeah, against Yeah, them. but they also won the one with Collingwood when they threw that. They, <laughs> they, got, drew, they, that they drew that one. That was one. a draw. That was they a draw. Yeah, but they got that one. They got that two Which points. didn't help so, them because they were two out, two mm. points out. But they, there was a couple of games there in a row, I reckon, Adelaide back to back. Yeah. Um, they should have won Carlton and Port Adelaide. I'll be forever, like, hate Fremantle for not making Carlton miss the finals. Like, I seriously... They had like, that chance, didn't they? To... Like, how good would it have been to Carlton and miss finals and them to lose? I was like, rooting for it. Yeah. Everyone was. Who well, was We were it? having a palmer with Mac at the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and they you know, forever was wearing his palmer. <laughs> and Mac goes <laughs> for Carlton. Yeah, hey, Mac. Probably like Carlton. Um, <laughs> got a mic over there, Dust? Yep. Like, how, how did you find the last three hours of the season? Um, it was like... He was in here. I was here with us. Yeah, yeah how did you find it? <laughs> yeah, I was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was nervous, but... Yeah. How do you feel going into this week? How many changes are we oh, making? Yeah, oh, we'll talk about after. We will talk about the preview after. Yeah, but, um, fair enough. I'll be back. Shout out to Port Adelaide for winning that yeah, game. Yeah, thank you, Port. Good. Thank you, Jason Horn Francis. You were very good. Are you going over to Brisbane to watch the game? I'm not. No. <laughs> not enough money? What you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a uni student. <laughs> work, work experience. I'm an intern here. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so, Frio. Yeah. Now, they're going to be a watch for next year. Yeah, Shea Bolton, they're hopeful on. Yeah. Cozzy Pickett's also requested a trade there. Um, yeah. Brett, yeah. Uh, can I ask you this? They've got a good hand. So, Cozzy Pickett, mm. apparently the room, like, Freo would have known about this from a while ago, you'd imagine. But they, they're claiming that Cozzy Pickett just, just well, management picked up the phone and said, oh, Freo. Yeah, by the way. Like, we want to come. Yeah. And it's like, well, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not, um, I, and I know I went through this myself when I mm. tried to get to Geelong and then a the deal couldn't be done. So I was like, right, <laughs> I'm not sure how this is. Where are we going to. It's been all this is your life today, Brett. Bull, Bulldogs <laughs> actually uh, look like a good sport. They've just won the flag. Maybe we can get there. And you've got a dog. <laughs> and they've got a dog. <laughs> Sorry, the, the Borises. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, Wayne Campbell from the Giants was like all the way through. Just anyway. There's a natural future for the dogs, but. Walk's a good man. Um, 
we are best and fairest for Freya. <coughs> go on. Caleb's wrong. wrong. Mm, Brayshaw so wrong, so wrong. Brayshaw Brayshaw had wrong. a good. I'm going to go with Hayden Young. Oh yeah, he was yeah. solid. One, he's not a hot one of the highest rated midfielders well, in the last five or six. One weeks of those guys that fil- externally filters in behind the other boys, mm. but I know internally they um. Highly in rated. terms of consistency, though, like Caleb Sarong just wins it week after yeah, week. Good player, clean as a whistle. Michael Walters and that Fife, they in their best twenty-two next nope. year. No, not in there. But then Walters is sub most of the year. I know yeah. you yeah. love um, Fife. He's, he's a good they're, man. They I'm showed. I don't, I don't think. Sometimes Father Time catches up with you. They showed, does, f- mate. hundred yeah, percent, it does. They yeah. show the footage of Horn Francis on Fife in that game, and just couldn't go with him. Couldn't explode out of that. Yeah. Very analytical not, not, today. Not, not many. Oh, are we talking footy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We're just not used to it. <laughs> no. No. So, Frio, if I'm looking, well, we'll finish with Collingwood because they finished ninth. But I want you to have, you have to, when we finish this show today. Yes. Two sides are going to drop out and two sides are going in. Yep. All right? Yeah. I don't have to make the comment because I'm hosting the show. It's my show today. Other pies, finish ninth. 12 two draws. Two draws. Yeah, it doesn't have that on mine. Um, but um, twelve, two, and nine. Finish oh, nine. Yes, it does. I wasn't free. Um, yeah, disappointing year, but I think, mm. and we'll probably see this a little bit and more and more with the extra time off, having won the flag. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I spoke about before the pre seasons, so, how right. important they are. Um, but they had injuries as well right throughout. Trying to manage that, didn't have their best players on the park, and ultimately they just left their their, their best. Just wasn't good enough this year you yeah. know they got found out a few times and but they're still exciting to watch God yeah it will be spot on like continuity with players on the track obviously mm. flows throughout the year so you just you lose fitness um training methods and then that just hurts them is the old um oh, yeah. how much is in something's going on at the back here yeah. that's okay yeah youtube subscribers just getting a <laughs> flick of everything else in there um on the are we what we got kogan's but they they, they play work. deep in September, <laughs> yeah. which is you know, again clearly yeah. you win a premiership. You celebrate for a while, yes. and then the season starts earlier. Yep, they were slow to start, weren't they? Zero and three. Uh, I don't know. The last three grand finals have made finals. Mm. Three of the last four, I think. Um, one of them in there did. <laughs> you can't find it. Brett? <laughs> Richmond, Richmond, maybe in when they won that one in um, twenty twenty Brisbane, wherever. Okay, two side. Oh, best and fairest, Collingwood. Nick Dacos. Pretty easy, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think yep. he's... Will he win the Brownlow? I've got him for yeah, winning the Brownlow in our little multi yeah. thing. Uh, he was my first pick. Lockie Neal. Yeah, like Lockie. Lockie. I just polled well. Mm. It's nice um, Bont got the... Yeah. Australian oh, see, I, th- I thought Nick Dacos would probably win that too, but um, yeah. he's just so <coughs> How do they well-rounded, the isn't he? Bont, like he just, he speaks well, presents mm. well, looks, seems measured, uses... Big words. Yeah, big word, but uses the big words well. <laughs> That's what I mean. But no, he's, uh, he's, he's, he, Dylan, seems, he seems educated. Dylan Bond to sit down. Yeah, for a big word. that'd be a real education, that would, wouldn't it? You know, um, for a one-on-one. Um, oh, have they like, done that before? Has Bond been on? Has he? Has he? Requ- he would have requested him, surely. Oh, I like stuff. What do you think? So, so Bond, tell me about, about your feelings. Bond, tell me about um, down at the club. Yeah. Um, have you heard of talking about? <laughs> Do you watch? Do you watch this? So two sides that are dropping yeah, out, two sides dropping out, and two that are going. And I'll start with the easy one, which is you know the positivity about around two sides that are out. They're going to go in. Yep. Go. Two sides that are out. They're going to go in. Well, I can't go past. I'm going to say Fremantle. They're going to shoot back up. Yep. And I'm expecting. Oh, I'm going to have to say I think the Pies are going to be aggressive this mm. trade period, and I think they're going to be ready to bounce again. Very original, Brett. You're going with the two sides that just missed out that are going in. Well, I can't. I Essendon, I, I don't, I'm not convinced. <laughs> Gold Coast. Saints, I'm not convinced because they, I think they're going to make a, a huge amount of changes. Gold Coast is still um and an aren't. Crows are probably the only side. And I don't think the D's are going to be there. And the other three are just... They're going to build. Yeah, they're yeah. building. Yeah, build. Oh, they're oh. on the slope. Up. <laughs> they're just their base camp. Well done on the build. Gold Coast and... Gold Coast in. And Collingwood, I think. I think I'll have one more go, Collingwood. What about Freo? Yeah, Freo. Freo, Freo um, young, though. So that's what I like about them. And if they get some stars in, which yeah, they are. When's um, uh, Longmuir contract to next year? He signed an, an extra extension this year, I think. For, the, for next year. So it's a big big year if they get all those yep. players in. And yeah. So who's going out? Yeah, who's going out? Well, I've got the Giants winning it. And you know what happens <coughs> if you win it? You go out. You go out. Okay, easy. <laughs> that's, all, that's one. I'm, and two, I'll say mm. the Baggers. Yeah. I only, I'll go Carlton as well. But that's got no reason because I... No other reason mm. because my mates... Are so passionate, it'd just be so. Are you funny in a to WhatsApp watch. group with Carlton? Fred? Oh, it's hilarious, mate! This, yeah. It is one of the yeah, enough. He's Tommy would have spoken about. Yeah. It. Oh, it's hilarious! Like it's just 
they're so emotional grown men crying yeah. like and it's just for them to lose for me <laughs> As a real saddest, like it just makes me feel. Do you follow Chalk's chat on uh, Instagram? You know Chalk. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then when he does the uh, he does the Carlton takeoffs, and he's just like, man, oh, we're actually really good, but we just we just missed, you know, but we're oh, really good. Geez. Get down the log on street. And it's yeah, I, I I don't got nothing against Carlton. It's just funny to watch my mates cry. So flag blues. So Carlton, and did I say another one? No, you haven't. Yeah, you need Carlton and one. What are the lines? The lines have been out for a long time. Um, Dill wrote them off earlier this year, but Jesus, he got them going year. as well. <laughs> Jeez, I couldn't. I couldn't. Port Adelaide. The power. I'll be a real watch on the um, on the finals, won't they? They mm. straight setters last year. It was two straight sets last year, wasn't it? Yeah, I can't. Port remember. and uh, Demons. Yeah, these definitely were. Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, everything good? Happy with that one? I'm happy with that. that, that not a bad episode, I think. Yeah. And this episode was brought to you by our good friends at Amy. Yeah. Not many clangers in the show. No, nah, not many. There's one last thing that we just need to yeah. bring up, and oh, that's the tripod. Of course. Uh, we just want to know about. <laughs> The eggplant or another half. So, so how was this set up last Amos time? It was because it. he, he Explain Dill, how could, Dill, to talk about it. Dill couldn't believe that no one asked. Yeah, well, or we didn't. I couldn't ask. believe it's one of the great. Um, and I don't. I don't need to talk about it because I <laughs> am. I've seen it and I know it. I've Shit. played cricket against it. <laughs> what do you mean? He used it as a bat. He did. He did. We With a ping baseball, pong ball. Baseball it was baseball. And he just <laughs> throw the ping pong ball and. <laughs> Uh, Got him! <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's and a, that's why we didn't want cubicles in the showers, you know, so we could all stand around together and uh, have some fun. Yeah, yeah, generations of change. Mate, mate. <laughs> played international rules, and Stevie Milne would never like have a shower without me. So like, we'd be in the change rooms, and like, we'd finish a training session, and he'd, he'd be in his jocks ready to go in, and he'd just sit next to me. He's like, and until I like, I got <laughs> up, he would he would get up. He's like, oh, we're going now. We and I'm like, yeah, we're it's pretty funny. And there's a couple of times he hid in the bin. Waiting for me to get in the shower, so like he jumped out of the bin. He's like, "Oh, Robbie, we're in the shower." So, <laughs> oh, shout just, out to Stevie. He was that, a man. Oh, funny. but, but uh, you know when blokes are happy with themselves, of how they go from the massage table either to their locker, <laughs> then into the showers. In our old place, it used to be all in the one room. Yeah. in the old sheds, she was just straight over the shoulder <laughs> and just shoulders pinned oh, back. It's really funny. Hey, Matt, can you follow on what we're talking about here? <laughs> Really XX, yeah. see you next week. <laughs> oh. That is brilliant. <laughs> yes. That is hey, Matt, can you see <laughs> that? Thanks for listening to another Clubby Sports Podcast. Make sure you're following us on Instagram at Dylan Friends, on TikTok at Dylan Friends. And if you want to send something in for the show or chat to us on the minis, any bit of feedback, please email me at mailbag at dylanfriends.com. We'll chat to you soon, Ilyxx. Thank you so much.